Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to my comparison video between the Apple iPhone 6 and the Sony Xperia Z3. So these two high-end flagship devices came out quite recently. These two devices share some similarities and quite a bit of differences. So in this video, I'm going to help you decide which smartphone is the best choice for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, first let's talk about the design and the hardware. So as you know, the iPhone 6 is an aluminum device. A few downsides for the iPhone 6 design is that this has a protruding camera and the antenna lines on the back doesn't look too attractive. And also, since this is an incredibly thin device with a brushed aluminum finish, it feels very slippery in the hand. On the other hand, the Sony Xperia Z3, just like the predecessors, has two tempered glass panels on the front and the back. So I have the copper color right here, which is quite nice because this doesn't attract too many fingerprints, unlike the black versions. The Sony Xperia is not as slippery as the iPhone 6, even though this also has aluminum edges. The glass panel on the back gives a nice grip when it's in your hand, so this mainly depends on which design you prefer, the aluminum finish or a glass panel on the back. Something else I want to mention is that the iPhone 6 has a physical mute switch, so it's much more convenient and faster to silence my device without having to go into my device and turning off the sound. Aside from the traditional charging port, as you can see on the side, there is a magnetic charging port, so you can purchase a Sony accessory to magnetically charge your device. On the back, you can see the NFC logo, so this also supports NFC. And also, there's a dedicated shutter button on the Sony Xperia, so when you press and hold on to it, it's a shortcut for launching the camera app. On the iPhone 6, you can take pictures by pressing the volume buttons, which is quite similar to the shutter button on the Sony Xperia. I also want to mention that the Sony Xperia has a micro SD card slot. So if I run out of storage, I can easily insert a micro SD card up to 128GB so I get more space for photos, videos, and other files. Alright, now let's move on to the screen quality on these two devices. The Sony Xperia Z3 has a 5.2 inch 1080p HD display with a 424 pixels per inch density. The iPhone 6 has a 4.7 inch 1334 by 750 resolution at 326 pixels per inch. Both are IPS displays, so they're very similar in terms of the color, saturation, and the contrast. So it's really hard to tell a difference between these two screens other than the screen resolution, of course. And both devices perform quite well in maximum brightness in direct sunlight. So every consumer has their own preferred screen size. For me, I like the size of the Xperia with a 5.2 inch display at 1080p HD higher resolution than the iPhone 6. As for the viewing angle, I have to say the iPhone 6 has a better viewing angle compared to the Sony. If you look at these two screens from an angle, you can see that the colors on the Xperia seems a bit washed out. Alright, now let's move on to the specs. So the Sony Xperia Z3 is running on a quad-core 2.5GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor with the Adreno 330 GPU. The iPhone 6 has a dual-core 1.4GHz Apple A8 processor, which is 64-bit, and a PowerVR GX6450 quad-core graphics. So here's a benchmark comparison between these two phones. Now both devices are extremely quick, but I have to admit, on the iPhone 6 with iOS, everything is really smooth. So the battery life on the Xperia Z3 is better than the iPhone 6 because this has a 3100 mAh battery, and the iPhone 6 only has a 1810 mAh battery, and both batteries are not removable. So from my experience, if I fully charge these two devices in the morning, I can use the iPhone 6 till maybe late afternoon, like at 5 o'clock, but for the Sony Xperia, I can use it till late night, so at 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock, around that. So the Sony Xperia does have a better battery life. And also inside settings, this also has a few battery saving modes, which can be quite useful when you have low battery and you want to use it for a few more hours. Alright, moving on to the software. Now, I'm not going to argue which one is better, iOS or Android. Of course, it's all down to your personal preference. But I can say that Android is really customizable. For example, if I don't like the icon or the theme of my device, I can download different icon packs or different launchers to further customize my phone to my liking. And on iOS, it's a really simplistic, has a user-friendly interface. It also packs a bunch of new useful iOS 8 features. So there are many advantages on both platforms, and it all depends on which one you prefer. Okay, now let's move on to the speakers. Now on the Sony Xperia Z2, this has two front-facing speakers, so when you're watching a video or playing a game, the sound is going to fire towards you. But on the iPhone 6, the speakers are at the bottom, so it's easy to cover up with your hand. 
So here's a speaker comparison between these two phones. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Similar to previous Xperia models, the Xperia Z3 is also a waterproof device. This has an IP65 and 68 rating, so this is dust resistant and this can go underwater up to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. I actually made a waterproof test video of the Sony Xperia Z2, the previous model, so you can check out that video, I'll leave it in the video description. You can see all the ports on the side are covered up, so it's going to survive underwater. So if you're a person that often drops water on your phone, or if you want to record videos underwater in a swimming pool or in a beach, then the Sony Xperia is definitely the phone for you because the iPhone 6 is not waterproof. And last but not least, let's move on to the camera and the microphone quality. So the Sony Xperia Z3 has a 21.7 megapixel sensor on the back and a 2.2 megapixel sensor on the front. On the other hand, the iPhone 6 has an 8 megapixel sensor and a 1.2 megapixel sensor on the front. So with 20.7 megapixels, the Sony Xperia definitely has sharper images, more detail in the shot. Something to note is that if you're shooting in automatic mode in your Sony Xperia, it's going to automatically shoot 8 megapixel images. So you have to go to manual mode to shoot full 20.7 megapixel images. Alright, now let's move on to the video comparison. So the iPhone 6 and the Sony Xperia is able to record 1080p HD videos at 30 or 60 frames per second. The Sony Xperia is able to record 4K videos, which is 2160p. I didn't record any in this video because I'm uploading this in 1080p, but you can YouTube search and watch some 4K Sony Xperia Z3 videos. And here are some low light images and videos. So it's quite clear that the Sony Xperia Z3 shoots better video in low light compared to the iPhone 6. Alright, so this is a video test of the front-facing camera on the Sony Xperia Z3 and the iPhone 6. Um, so first thing I notice is that the iPhone 6 has a warmer color tone. The iPhone 6 is recording in 720p HD and the Sony Xperia Z3 is recording in 1080p HD. So this concludes my comparison between these two flagship devices, the iPhone 6 and the Sony Xperia Z3. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also follow me on my social networks, Instagram, Google+, and Twitter. Links will be in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching once again, and I will see you in my next video.